Hi, I'm Randy Vance, Editor-in-Chief of Boating Life Magazine, and we're at the NMMA's MATS Marine Aftermarket Accessories Trade Show. It's the 2008 show, and there's more cool stuff here that I could put on my boat. I want to show it to you all right now. So, hey, Matt, get that thing off the tripod. You're going to have to keep up, and you're not going to be able to do it. Give me that thing. Let's go. You don't need this. Let's go. Come on, follow. You want to talk about bling your boat? Check out the stainless steel stuff we got here awesome wheels. Now that's the first thing I want is to get rid of that old grungy looking wheel. Look at this one. It's even got some padding on here so that you can drive all day happily and your hands will stay really nice. I'll tell you what, there are more different kinds of lights for your boat. Check these out. These cool LED lights. They burn practically no power at all. You could walk away for a month and your boat would still be working and able to start it. Come on, come on. You're too slow. Everybody wants to take their dog boating, and here's a way your dog can get back on board. Pause on board boat ladder. It's pretty cool, but that dog lacks coordination. See? The Lost Mariner, a Ritchie Compass. The name in compasses, and we think they're awesome. I want three of them on my boat so I really don't get lost. And if I do, maybe an extra gas can. Sorry. The whole point of a boat is keeping the water from where you want it, but boats leak. You need some really good bilge pumps, and you should probably have two on your boat, so if you only have one, get another one. That's what I'm doing. This is really cool. Now, you're going to set your boat in the garage. Two weeks later, you're going to come back. It's going to be dead as a hammer, but not with this system. This is automatic. It stays in the boat. It constantly tests your battery's power, adds just enough to keep it alive, but it does something else cool. It adds a pulse of electricity which takes the sulfate off your battery plates and it's supposed to extend the life of your batteries 10 to 15 times. I want one of those. You doing okay? Keeping up? Come on, let's go. Show's gonna close soon. This is a swim platform. Look at how that's made. It's not like a crummy piece of wood with 55 gallon drums floating it up. It's all made, integrated. Look at that ladder. Looks great, it's comfortable, non-skid. I want one of those. Optronics, look at this. You want lights that aren't gonna go out on your trailer? Waterproof, LED, Optronics lights. That's the way to go on a trailer. When things are screwed up beyond all recognition, you push the panic button, they come and get you. You gotta have one of those. The sound, the sound. What good is it without the sound? MB port. I got one that's going into my Glastron. T-top extender. I love the way this clamps onto your T-top rims. You've got a polyester surface here. You can idle along with the boat and this out, but when you get ready to go fast, it comes off in seconds. But back here, this one covers the cockpit. You can actually fish and grouper fish underneath it. There's no poles that come down or straps, and you can, you can run your boat 40 miles an hour to the next hole with this one on, right? Okay, see ya, bye. Brake lights for your PWCs. I love them, I love them, but I like the brake lights because when I stop, I want you coming up behind me to stop too. Nice idea. Man, they've even got power here, all kinds of power. Look at battery operated power. This is like, what, a six horsepower motor? A two horsepower motor, it's all electric. It runs forever on this little battery that's built right into it. Pretty snazzy. They've even got a way, look at this. Excuse me, you guys mind if I come in here? Thanks. They've even got a way to rig it up on a kayak if you're one of those kayaking types. Me, I like bigger motors, but for an electric, it's great. Dogs, gotta have dogs on board. Maybe burgers, shrimp if you got them. Holy cow, my gosh, this is exhausting. I'm gonna have to come back next year to finish this. I don't know how we're ever gonna get them all in. Look at this. How deep do you back your trailer in? You never know, you kinda gotta guess. But with this, you mark it, you back it in, there's a float inside. When you get to the perfect place, the light turns green. You know when to quit with the trailer. That's a pretty snazzy setup. Can I quit yet, please? 
what, two more rows left? I'm gonna need a beer. More LEDs, lots of LEDs. This is the hot thing in boat lighting. Red, blue, green, you got your interior lights, you've even got your nav lights. They take very little power to run. There is a boat buffer. Pretty cool from others. Oh wait, I'm lost, this way. What good would it be? Remember, there's all kinds of cool stereo systems. This is one of the nicest too. Check this out, amplifier. Look at all the speakers. I think I need all 12 of them in my boat. iPod connections everywhere. No more cranky looking winches. This is sleek and sexy. It's gonna make your trailer look like a million bucks. It'll fit with your Corvette when you get it set up this way. Oh my gosh, tell me I don't need one of these. It's a life raft. Quick wax, it's all the time we have for it. Wait, is there one more row? Okay. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Or is that the sun coming up? <laughs> XM for your boat. All the music in the sky, all the sports, anywhere within 200 miles of the coast of the United States. Perfect. Check this out. How many times have you had to wrestle with your boat cover? It's like a shower curtain for your boat. You just zip it shut and you go on. You zip it open and you take off. Can I quit yet? Like, I'm really exhausted. Wait, there's no more rows. We're done. Matt's 2008, the NMMA's biggest aftermarket marine accessory trade show. There's more stuff here than you can see in one trip.